Hello there. Welcome to the quiz show you can grasp in no time at all. But that's exactly what you mustn't end up with. I'm playing for time. Our players are always answering against the clock. And at the end of the last show, we started to play round one. In Otley had done very well. He still had 35 seconds left in his clock. His opponent, Scott Taylor, just eight seconds there. Well, this could all change because Ian is about to answer one of our time waster questions and his clock will tick away until he gets one of these right. See, will it be this one? Here we go, In. How many syllables are there in the word inconspicuous? Five. There are five. Well done. You're back in the game. Your clock stops there. Multiple choice now, A, B or C. In Greek mythology, what is the name of the river in Hades? It is the Styx. Well done. Hades being the kingdom of the dead. Who wrote the Three Musketeers? Dumas. Well done. Answer B. What is the capital of Guinea? Well, no, it's A. So uh, you're both wrong there. And uh, here's your time waster question. So fingers on the buzzers here to decide who gets back into the game. Leaf. L-E-A-F. Whoa. Whoa. Who did that? That's Scott. That means you're out of time there. I was going to ask you, leaf is an anagram of what word describing a jumping insect. Can you get it? Flea. Flea. Okay. But uh, that's immaterial. Scott, end of round one. Clock gone against you. Okay. Early days yet. In 22 seconds. That's very good. We're going to put those in the bank. Now, Ian's at 22 seconds. They go towards his chance of playing for our prize, which is uh, a holiday, which he gets to choose from a... Uh, a selection and uh, he's got to answer five questions within whatever time he has there in his uh, time bank. Uh, round two, we stay with multiple choice, reset the clocks at 60 seconds. If you win this one in, you have a chance to play for that holiday. Scott, you've got to stop him. Here we go. A, B or C. What's the name of the religious month of the Islamic year set aside for fasting? It is C, Ramadan, Scott. You're right, but it's a time waster for Ian. What is 16 multiplied by 12? 192. It is. We stop your clock there. Well done. In an atom, what type of charge does a proton have? Negative, neutral or positive? Well done. It is positive. What's the nickname of the seafront at Blackpool? Is it the Golden Promenade, the Golden Walk or the Golden Mile? It is indeed the Golden Mile answer C. Which of the following is the highest point in England? <coughs> Scaffold Pike. That's right. Answer C. Which group had a number one hit with Night Fever? The Beatles, the Supremes, or the Bee Gees? It was the Bee Gees. In which year did the D-Day landings occur? 42, 44, 46. It was 1944. Where does Kapok, used for stuffing insulation, come from? Bird feathers, animal fur, or a tree? It does come from a tree. Oh, very good. How did you know that, Scott? I don't know. It's in there somewhere. Yeah. Who designed the first hot air balloon? Montgolfier brothers, very well done. Who founded the Salvation Army? <coughs> William Booth, answer A. Who was the author of Dr. Zhivago, Ian Fleming, Boris Pasternak, or Mickey Spillane? It was B, Boris Pasternak, well done. Which culture first divided the stars into zodiac signs? Was it the Romans, the Egyptians, or the Greeks? It was not the Egyptians, it was the ancient Greeks. A time waster for both of you. Fingers on the buzzer. If the time is 6.03 a.m., how many minutes have there been in the day so far? 363. Very well worked out. Don't know how you did it, but you got it right. You're back in the game, Scott. Your clock ticks away. What's the third letter before V in the alphabet? Best. It is S. That cost you a bit of time. You're sitting on 24 seconds. In has uh, 28. Scott, you've got to win this one. Which film won seven Oscars in 1972? Was it Dr. No, Lawrence of Arabia, or To Kill a Mockingbird? You're both right with answer B. Where was Stan Laurel born? Cheshire, Lancashire, or Yorkshire? He was a Lancashire man, Ian. Well spotted. Uh, a time waster for you, Scott. What do the Roman numerals V, 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 and C equal when added together? 25. No, 115. Add the number of little pigs that were threatened by the wolf to the degrees in a right angle. 93. 93. 3 plus 90. We stop your clock at 7 seconds. Back to multiple choice. Which swimming stroke was introduced into the Olympic Games in 1956? 
It was the butterfly. Ains got it. Uh, time waster for you then, Scott. What's the next prime number after 31? 32. Oh. It's 37. But uh, you heard the gong there. You heard you're out of time, Scott. Uh, two rounds. They go to in. You've lost them both. But Scott Taylor, you've been a good contestant. Thanks for playing the game. Thank, Thank you. you. Time not on Scott's side. Let's see if it is on Ian's side because although he has won that second round as well, he's got 19 seconds on the clock. Let's put it in the bank. Let's see if it is enough to play for the holiday. 41 seconds. Five questions in 41 seconds. That would give you eight seconds per question. You have a bit of a think about that because if you don't go for the holiday, if you don't play for that, you're going to have to play on in the game and try and build up more time in that bank. But there's no guarantees, of course, that you'll beat your next opponent. And here's who that is. Dorothy Bailey is a former head teacher. She loves logic puzzles and word games. Dorothy has an extensive general knowledge and she loves reading. Well, Ian, it would be you against Dorothy or you against 41 seconds and five correct questions in that time. What is it to be? I'll have a go against the clock, Eamon. He's going to have a go against the clock. We're now playing for time away. Right, the first thing we've got to do is find out where Ian is going. And uh, just take a look at the list, Ian. It's uh, not a bad selection, I'm sure you will agree. Bruges you've got there, you've got Warsaw, and you've got Cork. Um, I think Warsaw looks different. Warsaw looks different, and I'm mm. sure it is different. And uh, sure, it'll be for nothing, and it won't, ma it won't matter as far as you're concerned. So it'll be a nice experiment um, for you. We hope you are going in. 41 seconds. I'll rattle through these questions as quickly as I can. And um, if there any you don't understand or you don't know the answer to just say pass you can pass in this round we'll get on to another one you're looking at five okay. it'll register on the screen how many you have got here we go fingers crossed for you in what nationality is Hergé creator of Tintin Belgium correct that's one who won a best actor Oscar 1995 in leaving Las Vegas Nick Cage he did that's two what is the name of the Japanese art where animals and other objects are made out of folding paper origami that's right that's three in 1914 the city of St. Petersburg changed its name to Stalingrad Petrograd Palestine was part of which empire during the time of Jesus Ottoman, Ottoman. Roman which long dormant volcano in America erupted in 1980 St. yes Daniel Day Lewis won an Oscar 1989 my for my left foot and you are off to Warsaw <laughs> Eight seconds left. I wasn't sure if it was going to be enough because there were a couple of problems in there. The uh, St. Petersburg being Petrograd and uh, Palestine, uh, part of the Roman Empire. You said? Ottoman. Yeah, Ottoman. No, no, no. You're getting far too fancy there. So uh, <laughs> you got back on course with uh, Mount St. Helens and thank goodness for Daniel Day-Lewis's left foot. You've been a great contestant from Doncaster in Otley. Thanks, Ian. Thank uh, we're playing for time. We're also playing with two new contestants. Let's meet one of them. So, let's meet Dorothy Bailey. Dorothy, you're from Bury in Lancashire. Uh, you're a retired head teacher at an infant school. That's right. And how long have you been retired? Four years. Do you miss that? Do you miss all those little children running around your feet? Not a great deal. Really? No. <laughs> I loved it while I was there, but I don't yeah. miss it a lot now. Yeah. So how do you fill in your time now? Uh, I do some American line dancing. Do you? Mm -hmm. You're nifty on your feet then? Just a little bit. Okay. Well, let's see how nifty you're going to be here today. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need an opponent. Here she is. Mari Harvey is a maths whiz. At the supermarket, she adds up the prices of her weekly shop and tells the cashier how much it should be. Now, um, Dorothy was telling me it's her first time on television, but not for you, Mari. You've done it before. Yes, same, and I was on Whatever You Want, a Gabby Watson show oh, yes. a few years ago. And what did you want? To win a personal fitness instructor for a year. Did you get him? No, and I'm quite glad I didn't, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you oh, that's a prize, yes. <laughs> uh, that would have been a bit of a penance, that would have been. Well, Mari, enjoy yourself. You're from Thank London. You. You're here to play the game. Uh, you know the situation. It's a holiday destination they're both playing for. We just saw Ian winning one. Uh, it's all about two rounds, multiple choice questions, first of all. 60 seconds on the clocks behind you. The sooner you answer the better, but be very, very careful. If you get a question wrong, it's one of these dreaded time waster questions, and you really don't want one of those. So here we go, we'll set the clocks at 60 seconds. Let's play for time. 
A, B or C, which is the most abundant gas in the atmosphere? Nitrogen, oxygen or carbon dioxide? The answer is, Dorothy, A, you're right. Good news for you, bad news for you, Mary, because you're straight away into one of those time-wasted questions we warned about. If today is Wednesday, what day will it be 22 days from now? Tuesday. No, it'll be a Thursday. Your time ticks on. Add the number of faces on a cube to the sides of a pentagon. 11. That's right. Six plus five. We stop your clock there. You're back in the game. Who first identified radio waves? Hertz, Newton or Galileo? Right, both wrong. The answer is A, which means it's a time waster question. Fingers on the buzzers, just decide who gets back into the game. What is the next prime number after 23? Mary? 25. No, it's 29, Mary. Dorothy's back in the game. Your time ticks on. If 40 people are in a room, how many fingers and toes are there? 160. No, there are 840 by 20, assuming they've all got them. If you are facing east and you rotate clockwise through 180 degrees, in which direction are you now facing? West. That's right. We stop your clock there. You're down to 28 seconds, Mary. Don't you worry too much. Dorothy, you're on 51. Anything can happen. Which country was the first to put a woman into space? Was it America, Russia or China? It was Russia, Mary. You're right, and it's a time waster now for you, Dorothy. See how you can do with this. Add the number of signs of the zodiac to the number of lords a leaping. Uh, 23. No, 22. 12 past 10. How many vowels are there in the word association? Six. There are six. Very well done. We stop your clock there. You're down to 34 seconds. It's uh, getting closer. Horses are measured in hands. How many inches are there in a hand? Four, six, or ten? There are four. Both well done on that. Answer A. What Italian term is commonly used to express being outdoors? Al fresco. Answer B. What's the name of the baddie in the cartoon series Inspector Gadget? Yes. Did the kids used to talk about that, Dorothy? No, it was guessed. <laughs> it was, well, you guessed, right. What about you, Mary? Did you know that? Yes, it is. You did know that? There you are. Well, you're right, and we move on. A, B, or C. What term is given to angles less than 90 degrees? They are acute, Mary. Now, write out ten times, Dorothy. Yeah, I knew it. I just pressed the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> it's a time waster for pressing the wrong button, Dorothy. How many hours are there between 10 a.m. on Christmas Day and 12.30 p.m. on Boxing Day? Oh, 30. No, 26 and a half. Your clock ticks on. How many letters are there in the word drenched? Eight. Eight, there are. We stop your clock on six seconds. See how it turns round, Dorothy, now in six seconds. Mary in the driving seat on 13. Here we go, A, B or C. From which vegetable was vodka originally made? Potatoes, rice or wheat? It was not rice, it was potatoes, so it's another time waster, Dorothy. Dorothy, add the number of wonders of the world to the number of brides for seven brothers. Fourteen. Fourteen, seven, seven. Question took longer than the answer, and that's what it's all about, of course, because it has to drain your time, which it has done. So round one goes to Mary. Mary, ten seconds on the clock. Let's put them in the bank. Right. So, good news and bad news there, Mary. You've won round one. Uh, the bad news is not a great amount of time to play with uh, for that holiday. You're going to have to win round two to play for the holiday and win it with uh, a good few seconds to spare, probably another 20 seconds or so there in the bank. Your task, Dorothy, is to stop her. Here we go. We reset the clocks at 60 seconds. Multiple choice, A, B or C. Which of these is the biggest species of cat? Jaguar, leopard or cheetah? Yes, well done, Jaguar A. To the Manor Born and The Good Life both starred which British actress? It was Penelope Keith, answer C. In Coronation Street, what's Rita's shop called? It's called The Cabin, Dorothy, so it is. So you're not a Coronation Street I'm not. watcher then? No, no, there you are. And just to say it to people at home, they can't see how each other votes, so uh, don't worry about that one. The time waster, you've got to worry about this one, Dorothy. Dorothy, can you add the number of wheels on a unicycle to the number of years for a golden wedding anniversary? 51. 51. 1 plus 50. There you go. You're back in the game. 
What was the name of the motherly rag doll in Bagpus? Was it Madeline, Florence, or Victoria? Madeline is uh, right. You really are a telly watcher, Mary, aren't you? I like kids' programs. Yeah, you're just a big kid at heart then. Yeah. It's uh, serving you well now. We go into another multiple choice question. Which of the BBC's radio stations is broadcast on 92.4 to 94.6 FM? Is it Radio 1, Radio 4, or Radio 5? Dorothy is right. It is Radio 4. So we can deduce from that, Mary, that uh, there are no kids' programs in Radio 4 then. <laughs> Okay, it's a time waster for you. What's the second letter in the name of the animal who went to sea with the pussycat? W. Yes, because it was the owl went to sea with the pussycat. You're back in the game, we stop your clock there. Pure gold is represented by what weight in carrots? 12, 24, 25, you're both right with B, 24. Who was the first monarch in the House of Windsor? Edward VII, George V or Edward VIII? It was George V. You have done well, Dorothy. It's a time waster for you, Mary. If you get on a bus at 10 past 1 and get off again at 2.35, how long have you been on that bus? 65 minutes. No, 85 minutes. 1 hour 25. Your time ticks on. How many vowels are there in the word terrific? Four. Three, E, I and I. Multiply the square root of 64 by the number of legs that a spider has. 700. <laughs> no, 64, 8 by 8 by 8. How many years is three decades plus one score? 80. No, 50, 30 plus 20. If you leave your house at 8.15 a.m. and get back two hours and 20 minutes later, when do you return? 10.45. No, 10.35. How many minutes are there in 600 seconds? 10 is the answer, 600 divided by 60, and um, they are so confusing, aren't they, when you know over your shoulder there that clock is ticking down. Don't you worry, you won the first round, okay? Second blood goes to Dorothy. Dorothy, you've got a very healthy 25 seconds sitting on that clock. We're going to put that in the bank. Okay, that's for you to play for the holiday if you get that far. Uh, so, one round each. That means we go to extra time. Well, to play this round, we put 60 seconds back in both clocks. Each contestant will take it in turns to answer. As soon as they get a question right, their clock freezes. The other person then has to answer correctly, and that's the way it continues until one player's clock runs out of time. Uh, Mary and Dorothy, you can pass, but uh, I do have to warn you that your clock keeps ticking down until you get a question right. Do you both understand? This will be for the chance to play for the holiday. Good luck to both of you. We will start with you, Mary, because uh, you have less time in your time bank than uh, Dorothy has. Dorothy's 25 seconds, you've got 10 seconds. So we begin with you. Here we go. Who became Prime Minister of Italy in 1922? Pass. Mussolini. What flower does the Labour Party use as its Red logo? Rose. Yes. Dorothy, botany is the study of? Plants. It is. Who was the first to run a mile in under four minutes? Bannister. That's right. Whistle and flute is Cockney rhyming slang for? Suit. It is indeed. The Sphinx has a head of a human and the body of? Lion. Yes. What's the capital of Spain? Barcelona. No, it's Madrid. On which river does the Henley Regatta take place? The Thames. That's right. In which sport, Mary, would you slam dunk? Basketball. Correct. What's the main ingredient in paella and risotto? Rice. That's right. What's the name of the breed of cat that has no tail? Manx. Yes. In Christianity, what does Easter Sunday celebrate? Crucifixion. Oh, no, the resurrection. The resurrection. Got to take your first answer. What is a pizza with ham and pineapple typically called? Pass. Hawaiian. In boxing, what does KO stand for? Not count. Yes, that's right. Back to you, Mary. What colour is the inside of a cantaloupe melon? Green. No, it's orange. How many points do you score for a bullseye in darts? 25. 50. What was Sri Lanka previously called? Ceylon. That's right. What is the ultimate court of appeal in Britain, Dorothy? The House of Lords. Yes. In the Winter Olympics, what's the name of the event where skiers swerve in and out of narrowly spaced Slalom. gates? That's right. Hepatitis is inflammation of which organ? Liver. Yes. Who was Nelson Mandela married to whilst in Winnie. prison? Yes. Sherwood Forest is in which county? Hunting. That's right. Ash Wednesday is the first day off? 
Easter. No, Lent. What is the name of the instrument which measures atmospheric pressure? Geiger counter. No, barometer. Which section of the orchestra would you find the flute? Wind. Yes. In which sport would you find a one wood and a tea? Hat. Golf. In which building did Prince Charles marry Diana? Westminster Abbey. No, St Paul's. During photosynthesis, what do plants use to make their food? Oxygen. No, light. Oh, and you, you're out of time, you're out of oxygen, you're out of everything there. <laughs> so, so close, Dorothy. It just ticked away down there. It leaves you with two seconds, Mary. You are the winner there. Dorothy Bailey from Berry, retired head teacher and expert line dancer. We say goodbye to you. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> well, Mary, have you ever been so excited? <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer that, maybe, <laughs> but it seesawed back and forth there. Did, did you think you were going to do it? No, I didn't, actually. Yeah, OK. No. Well, time has been uh, kind to you. It is on your side, though not a lot of it. Two seconds there. Let's put it in your bank. Let's see what you've got in total. Has the clock broken there? Do we want to kick it or anything? No, it is only at, it's only at 12 there. It's only at 12. Now, your task would have been to answer five questions in the amount of seconds you have in your bank. But um, I don't think you could do that. That's two point something um, per question. So we're going to have to wheel on another opponent. Mary's going to have to play that opponent. She's hoping to build up the time reserve in her bank there. But to do that, she's got to take on this man. Dave Foreman has an IQ of 164 and says he absorbs information like a sponge. He likes to read the dictionary and he's a regional quiz winner. Now that IQ of 164, that's good then, is it? Um, it's supposed to be, but it doesn't feel like it all the time. Yeah. And what, what, do, what do those figures go up to, those men's IQs? Uh, the highest I've seen is about 181, but yeah, well, hey, what it goes you're, up. you're up there, you're up there, you're well up there. Long now, way to go, yeah. I'm told that off an evening, while the rest of us are, are watching EastEnders and Coronation Street and whatever, you often sit down to read a dictionary. That's right. And is that actually pleasurable to you? Well, I'm still trying to find the plot. <laughs> I'll not take you on, not with an IQ like that, I can tell you that. Uh, Dave, you know the situation here. You've just watched that uh, thrilling encounter between uh, Mary and Dorothy there. Um, she's still out for that holiday. You have to try and stop her. Um, to do that, we've got to go through two multiple choice rounds. So, let's play for time once more. A, B or C. Let's go. According to the Old Testament, what type of bird did Noah initially release? It was a raven. You're right. I thought it was the dove, but it was uh, a raven. It's a time waster for you, Mary. Add together the sides of a pentagon and an octagon. Thirteen. Thirteen. Five plus eight. Well done. We stop your clock there. You're back in the game. A, B or C. Which of the following is the Spice Girls' biggest selling single? It is A, Wannabe. Have you got that one in your collection, Dave? Um, I don't even know who the Spice Girls are. <laughs> well, you got the right, you got the right answer. Uh, it's not to become one. It's another time waster for you, Mary. How many vowels are there in the word halo? Two. Two, A and O. Stop the clock there. What gas mark is 180 degrees centigrade? Is it four, six or eight? It is neither six or eight. It is four, so it's a time waster for both of you. Fingers on the buzzer to get back into the game. If VAT is 20%, how much VAT do you pay on an item costing £750? Mary. 150. Well done to you. It is 150. You're back into the game. Dave, your clock ticks away. Lump, L-U-M-P, is an anagram of which fruit? Plum. That's right. We stop your clock there. What was the elephant man's real name? Was he John Simpson, John Merrick or David Jones? He was B. John Merrick. How long did Elizabeth I reign as Queen of England? 40, 45 or 50 years? The answer is B. 45 years. So both wrong again there. A time waster. Can you tell me what is 5% of 200? It is, Mary. 15%? No, it is 10. So uh, Dave's back in the game and it's another time waster for you, Mary. What's the ninth letter in the word simultaneous? You. No, it is E. What is 14 multiplied by 8? 72. No, 112. If you're facing south and you rotate anti-clockwise through 45 degrees, in which direction are you facing? East. No, southeast. If the time is 3.56 a.m., how many minutes have there been in the day so far? 200. 
236. If A equals 1 and B equals 2, what does S equal? 23. No, 19. What do the Roman numerals XX, C and X equal when added together? It's 130, 20 plus 100 plus 10. Uh, unfortunately, out of time there. Don't let those time wasters get the better of you, Mary. You're out of time. Early days. Round one goes to Dave. Dave, 28 seconds on your clock. That's very, very healthy. Let's put them in the bank. That will go a long way if you get to play for the holiday, Dave. So that's looking very healthy for you. But uh, to get that holiday, to be in with a chance for it, Dave has to win this next round. Mary has got to stop him. Here we go. Multiple choice again. A, B or C. The clocks are reset at 60 seconds. Which English poet wrote Paradise Lost in 1667? It was Milton. Answer B. What is Hansen's disease more commonly known as? Leprosy is the answer. That's A. So it's a time waster again for you, Mary. Mary, multiply the Prime Minister's official house number by half a dozen, then minus two. 58. 58. Very well done to you. You're back in the game. Where were the 1960 Olympics held? Were they in Rome, Sydney or Madrid? The answer is neither of those. The answer is A. They were in Rome. So it's a time waster for both of you. If you divide three cakes equally between four children, how much does each child get, Dave? Three quarters. Three quarters, or 75%. You're back in the game, Dave. It's still a time waster for Mary. How many hours are there in three and a half days? Eighty-four. That's absolutely right. Well worked out. Twenty-four multiplied by three and a half. See? You can do it. <laughs> it's there. Well done. Well done. Here's your multiple choice, A, B, or C. How many days did Jonah spend in the belly of a whale? The answer was three, Mary. You're right, and it's a time waster for you, Dave. Multiply the months of the year by the wise monkeys. 36. 36, 12 by three. <coughs> a, B, or C, who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize? It was Marie Curie. Which of these cities is the furthest north, Derby, Birmingham, or Sheffield? The answer is C, Sheffield. So that's a time waster for you. Add together the sides of a square, Mary, and the faces on a cube. Ten. Ten. Four plus six. You're back in the game. The first postage stamp printed was the penny black. When did it go on sale? 1750, 1800, or 1840. You're right, Dave. It's another time waster, Mary. What letter is the fifth letter before the penultimate letter in the alphabet? The fifth letter before the penultimate. You. T. If you're facing west and you spin anti-clockwise through 90 degrees, in which direction are you now facing? South east. South, south, no, south is the answer, not southeast. If a rectangle is three centimetres wide and seven centimetres long, what is its area? 21 centimetres. Just out of time there. 21 square centimetres, three by seven, but the clock has gone against you. You had no alternative. Oh! Well, we're just saying goodbye to Mary there because she lost two games in a row there. She tried to go for that holiday because she had no alternative. Only those uh, 12 seconds or so there in the clock. We say goodbye to you, Mary. Uh, we say stay on to you, Dave, because you will face uh, another opponent. And we say goodbye to you watching at home because we've got to do it all again next time on Playing for Time. See you then. Bye-bye. Anne Robinson, ah, her bark's worse than her bite. No, actually, that's not true. Weakest Link, Champions League, tonight on BBC One at 8.25.